Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, start a relationship slash continue a relationship in Fallout 4. Uh, so what you want to do is with whoever you want to have your relationship with or whatever, um, I'm just going to be showing it with Piper. Um, so what you want to do, click A, command, you know, and you want to talk to him. the fact that you're not an idiot. Okay, so they'll have talk, um, some of it's just banter, some of it's just um, dialogue pertaining to where you are at in the story, where she'll explain some different stuff to, stuff to you or um, tell you different things. But in this case, um, you will get some different um, dialogue here, um, and I'm going to be quiet while it's talking, but obviously um, you'll see. Thanks. You too. No, I, I didn't mean like... I could just use some help. This isn't the sort of thing I'd normally bother anyone else with, but you just seem really good with people, and I've got this issue with my sister, Nat, becoming me. Okay, what is up with her face? The lighting in this game can make your character look so weird. Okay, but obviously just... Just don't be a, a dick, I guess. Don't be a douchebag. Um, Coming, you. What do you mean? I'm just terrified she's gonna start taking up like her big sis. I mean, think about the life we lead. No offense intended, Blue, but personal safety doesn't exactly seem like either of our strong suits. I can't have her ending up like her big sister. Dodging bullets and running from all the people she pisses off. It's part of the reason I'm on the road so much. Part of the reason I'm here with you. I keep thinking, maybe if I make myself scarce, if I'm not around her enough, she'll cool off. She'll just go back to being sweet, innocent Nat, paper girl, and all around upstanding citizen. What do I do, Blue? You just love her. Family's precious. The last thing you want to do is drive them away, because you might lose them forever. You're right. I can't risk that. Thanks, Blue. Who'd expect wandering off with a stranger to turn out this well? They really don't make them like you anymore. You're a hell of a friend, you know that? Okay, and now you can see you have some different options here. Okay, you know, that's that's the typical, like, okay, you know, end the conversation. Um, out for yourself, that's kind of the douchebag answer, the kind of, it's just all about me. The feelings mutual is just, like, if you want, if you're, like, just want to be friends and, you know, you're just on, you know, you're, like, good friends. And then on the top, you'll get that that says flirt, obviously, if you're wanting to have a relationship. Click that. Just friends, huh? I guess, but I thought I thought so. Unless, you know, something changes. God, did it get hot in here? But hey, thanks again for listening. It's a real weight off my chest to be able to talk it out with someone. So, you want to hit the road? Okay, so you have those different options. Um, other things you can do, like I'll just use Piper as the example. She doesn't like it when you steal. Um she it'll say up in the top left uh, piper dislikes this um she likes it when you make the good decision um she's kind of like good natured and good at heart um so she likes it when you make those decisions shut up diamond city security um but she likes it when you do um the good thing or the right thing morally i guess um and then she likes it when she she likes it when you lock pick stuff um but let me see here if i can get hit in I'll try to steal something here. I can't get hidden. It's too much security. Okay, you know what? We'll go down here and I'll just continue to talk about this. Um, but there are different things you can do. Obviously, I don't think they're the same uh, depending on which character you... Which companion you have. But down here, you know, there's this stuff to steal. Now, I have stolen, so it's not like don't steal anything. Um, I probably end up stealing this. Um, but, you know, there's stuff down here, and you can see here at the top, Piper disliked that. You know, because it's not morally, I guess, morally and ethically correct to steal. So, 
Uh, she dislikes it when you when you steal, and I think it's just a one-time pop-up. So if you're going to steal, I mean, just go ahead and go nuts. Just steal everything, because I don't think um, past uh, the... Um, the initial time that you still that she doesn't like i think if you get pat once she doesn't like it i think you can steal as much from that location um i'm not entirely sure uh but i'm pretty sure that's how it works because it doesn't pop up again as much as you want to steal uh so if you're gonna steal you might as well steal a bunch of it um but it doesn't really affect but usually now you can talk to her, and she'll give you little things, like she just gave me that Nuka-Cola, or you'll get this dialogue option when there isn't anything to talk about. You can ask about the relationship, you can act up for her thoughts, you can dismiss her, you can. You have to click never mind to end the con the conversation, but I'll hey, go thoughts? into thoughts. Have any more questions about the Institute's enemies, Blue? Okay, so it goes back to a previous dialogue option where you can ask about the uh, institutes. It just goes back to that. Sometimes she'll just give her random thoughts about something being morally or ethically correct or something like that. The other option is relationship. I was just wondering where you and I stand. You got nothing to worry about. We're good, Blue. And what do you say we get back to making trouble? See, and then they'll give you an answer like that, or they'll say something along the lines of, uh, we're fine, but we could be doing better, or, you know, something relative to probably, um, a horrible relationship, a bad relationship, a not very good, a average and okay, oh, there's probably you. a good, That's and a there's hard. probably a very good, and there's probably, like, an excellent um, type of rating, similar to, like, very easy, easy, normal, hard, very hard. So that's how it's usually worked with Karma um, in previous games, um, previous Fallout games, so I would assume that's how it would work with the relationship. Um, but I'm still getting the to know the different stuff, but that is kind of the breakdown that I have uh, for how to start and how to continue relationship. Just make sure you talk to your companion. I'm not exactly sure how it works with dog meat since he doesn't really talk. Um, but this is how it goes with humans. Um, I've just found that Piper has been more useful than dog meat. Um, I don't really care about having this lesbian relationship. I've just, um, I just kind of figured it out how it works. And she's more effective to me, for me in combat than dog meat was because, um, I've really gotten into using the hardened sniper rifle, um, which looks like an M40A3 kind of. Um, or R700 from Call of Duty 4, um, and so, I don't know, I just like the look of it. I also love snipers, so that's probably the reason why I'm using it, but I've been playing it ranged combat, and that really doesn't work well with dog meat because he likes to get in there and he likes to pin them. He likes to kind of hold the enemies down so you can get up close and personal and mow them down. Um, so Piper has just worked out better for me uh, than dog meat, uh, but I do love dogs. So, you know, it's kind of, I don't know. It's useful versus what I want to use. Um, but that's not related to the point, um, but that is just a quick uh, little tips and info on how to, um, you know, continue and start a relationship with one of your companions. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.